Good morning, everybody. From the grand reopening of the Walt Disney World Resorts, we are here today at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. We have a reservation here tonight and tomorrow night. So we are here to show you everything that has changed, everything that has stayed the same here at Walt Disney World. It is June 22nd, opening day of many of the DVC resorts. The other resorts are not open yet. Uh, but we are very excited to see what's going on here. I got to tell you, walking in through the main uh, entrance, the magic truly returned, and uh, it's just absolutely amazing to be here. So we're going to head into the lobby now, kind of show you what's going on there a little bit later. We're going to head over to the Beach Club. We have a reservation at Beaches and Cream, which we're really excited for. Uh, but again, just want to see kind of what's going on. We went to Vera Beach last week, and this week we're going to check out the Walt Disney World Resort. So hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification button and let's see what's going on here at the Walt Disney World Resort. Right under the main entryway where you would take your luggage out of your car and we are heading into the main lobby but first once again we have the signs here that say you have to have your face covered, you shouldn't be entering if you are sick, uh, and then of course over here your warning, uh, again mentioning you know that if you come here it's at your own risk. Uh, I've noticed a lot of distancing signs, uh, a lot of signs like this again reminding you to cover your nose if you're sneezing, wash your hands, things like that. But let's head into the main lobby because again you can kind of hear that music in the background. You walk back in here. If you've completed your online check-in, which we did, you don't even have to talk to anybody. You just walk right in, head straight to your room, use your magic band, and head straight there, which is pretty cool. And then in the main lobby. Not a whole lot of people here yet. Whispering Canyon is open for breakfast, but Again, not a whole lot of people there either. And the check-in counters, bell services, all have your plexiglass on the counters. Again, just for everybody's safety, plexiglass to, you can hardly even see it. Kinda neat. It is very slow so far. Haven't seen hardly anybody. A couple people checking into the hotel, kind of sitting in the chair, but this is normally the pin station. I'm thinking they're probably gonna stay closed. Uh, but we are going to head down towards the food court because I'm just curious what is going on down there. See if there's any changes going on. So one thing I found interesting at Vera Beach and here, they have not done temperature checks. So I guess they're gonna hold off for that for the theme parks and Disney Springs, but at the hotels, there have not been any temperature checks at all, and I kind of found that interesting. I assumed there, there definitely would be, but no. So we made it to the snack bar here. They've got a place here where you can scan in and make a mobile order. Yeah. Hello. hello. Hello, hello. How can I help you? Did you make an order yet? No, I haven't. I'm just looking around. Just okay. seeing what uh, I can get you to just follow around the I can do that, that yeah. We got arrows here, you gotta follow around. Hi, how are you? Thank you, thank you. A few pastries, not as much as normal. So they were just explaining right here, you come, you pick up your food once you've ordered it, then you come over here and get your beverage refill and you said that you will fill up the soda right correct okay yeah they'll fill up the soda yeah just like at Vera Beach and same thing with the condiments and then you just make your way out and you can either sit in here or head outside and sit I was the first person in the snack bar this morning but it looks like they're gonna have that down to a science you walk in they've got cast members right there telling you which way to go you follow the arrow on the ground to order your food then you go out and pick up your food and then you kind of go down the assembly line to get your drinks and your condiments and then they even have a separate exit for you to leave so i, I don't think that's going to be any problem i think that's going to be pretty easy again you order um, on the app preferably i'm sure they will still take your order there if you don't have the app or don't know how to work the app or anything like that but just order on the app it'll tell you when it's ready pick it up and then move your way down the assembly line 
Um, so that'll be interesting. Um, we'll see how the actual sit-down restaurants are a little bit later. I'll be curious to see what kind of changes there are there. Swimming pool does not open until 11, but if you look at the seating arrangements, zoom in here a little bit, you can see that they are separated out. I would imagine we are going to see the same type of concierge service that we saw at Vera Beach where they will ask how many you have and then take you to a specific location. You can see here on the sign, don't move the chairs because they have already been positioned to keep you separated. So we'll come back a little bit later and see how all that's working out. I just love it here. There is no better sight in Disney than this waterfall. It is just spectacular to see. I have missed this so much. About to head into the Mercantile. This is their gift shop here. Again, they've got their health and safety sign out here. One-way entry. Got some hand sanitizer. I haven't seen a whole lot different here in the gift shop, but they do have the Germex hand sanitizer, and they do have some masks. Be curious to see how quick these last. You got your stitch mask. We need the poo, that's kind of neat. Those are cool. Just give you a little sense of how crowded this hotel is so far. Pretty much no cars in the parking lot. Made our way over to Boulder Ridge to check out the gym. More hand sanitizer. Let's see if there's anything different in here. Doesn't seem like it. Now online it said that the fitness centers would be open, but we just got here and it is not. So they do have it set up it looks like with the machines that are closed every other one, but for some reason, the fitness center is closed right now. So a very friendly cast member just told us that he was in a meeting, just came out of a meeting, and as of less than two hours ago, they made the decision to keep the fitness centers closed for the foreseeable future. Uh, he's not exactly sure why, he's not exactly sure when it's gonna reopen, um, but I guess that's just a sign that we just need to enjoy ourselves today rather than head to the gym, so. Oh hum we're gonna enjoy the rest of our day. Came down to the quiet pool. Uh, this is over by this is Boulder Ridge Villas here, and then around this way is the main building of Wilderness Lodge. You can see there is nobody here, uh, but they have separated out the chairs. They have also a sign when you first come in that says, you know, don't move the chairs. They've already been placed separate. Uh, but other than that, there is not anybody at the quiet pool that is taking you to a spot. So uh, in the quiet pools, it looks like it's going to be up to you to find your own spot. Not really a big deal. They do have, this is the entrance. You have to enter through that door. And then the exits are all over here. So again, one way in, one way out. Although there's really no sign here that says you can exit out of this door. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but over here, these doors definitely do say exit only. Uh, you can't come in that way, so you have to enter here, but you can exit, I guess, through any of the doors, but we're gonna enjoy the pool for a little bit. Uh, it's very rare that you're gonna see a pool this completely empty. I'm sure as people arrive, it's gonna become more crowded, uh, but again, here to have a magical day here at Wilderness Lodge. So it's about two o'clock. We uh, are back in the room right now. Uh, just wanted to fill you all in though on kind of what's been going on so far. We showed you quite a bit already uh, and we're going to be heading over to the beach club later for dinner. We'll show you more too, but the cast members are so excited to be back at work and their excitement and their happiness is just making this whole experience that much better. Um, I'm being extra friendly and, and excited and they're being extra friendly and excited and it's like this toxic just chemistry going on and it's just it's amazing everybody is so stinking happy to be back yeah we're in masks but who cares we are so excited to be back the cast members me and it's just making things amazing we just had lunch at geyser point i had a bison burger delicious but again the highlight of that meal was the bartender josh he was phenomenal attentive drinks for full all the time 
just telling us how he was happy to be back at work. He came back yesterday and they got everything set up for uh, the day today and just everybody's so excited to be back and it, I haven't come across one cast member at this point who has been negative or upset or anything. So just truly amazing. All right, so good morning. It is now Tuesday morning. I had every intention of filming at Beaches and Cream last night at the Beach Club and of course didn't have a battery and couldn't do it. So we had a good time, really nothing different as far as uh, the different safety procedures go at the Beach Club. I do want to show you though a picture from the Beach Club, uh, Beaches and Cream, and just show you how crowded it was. Uh, it was totally, totally dead, which was pretty crazy. Um, never really seen a restaurant like that here at Disney, so I would expect later tonight we're going to have dinner at Kona Cafe. I would expect it to be pretty similar there, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, Today, though, we are having breakfast at Whispering Canyon, which we will take you to and show you that. And then we're heading over to the Polynesian to check in uh, for one more night here at Disney. So once we get over to Polynesian, I'll, I'll definitely have the camera there and make sure I have batteries and show you uh, if there's anything different at the Polynesian before we uh, wrap things up today. So let's go. We're going to have another fantastic day here at Walt Disney World Resort. Made it to Whispering Canyon, headed in for breakfast. You can see they've got the QR code to scan for the menus because they won't be giving you normal menus. Markings on the ground. So they haven't removed any tables, but looks like they've got every other table marked off that it's not available. So all the tables are still here, but they are seating six feet apart. And really, it's a lot of tables that are not in use. Instead of menus, they give you the piece of paper here with the QR code and scan that, and that gives you your menu for breakfast. You can scan the QR code, the menu pops up, and it's the same menu that they've always had. The skillets, omelets, eggs. But just another change that's coming because of all the stuff going on. Made it over to the Polynesian this afternoon, just checked into our room. Wanted to give you a quick little tour of the Wabi and gift shop and the food court just to show you. Again, they have their signs here letting you know what to expect once you go inside. The lobby really, once you get in here, looks to be about the same as always. Still have their table set up sign here reminding you just to go straight to your room if you already have your room number. Got their social distancing markers on the ground here leading up to the check-in counters that once again all have their plexiglass. You see these little signs everywhere. Again reminding you to stay six feet apart. We come over in this direction here towards the gift shop. They've got marked off entrance and exit so you're not going in and coming out of the same entryways over here. Again, very similar to what we saw over at Wilderness Lodge, which you would expect. And they also have the distancing markings here. In case the store ever reaches capacity, you just wait out here until it's time to enter. Um, let's check out the food court. Just got to the food court again. You've got the mobile order sign here. Scan in. One-way traffic here. You wait on your marks to order your food. Pick up your food over here and then follow the arrows. Hi, how are you? Come right here and they will fill up your refillable mugs and tea and coffee, all that jazz. These are pretty cool too. They're new uh, dispensers. Take out a fork and it pops out another one so you don't have to touch all of them. And then you come out here and grab your seat. The pool is open. This pool is definitely more crowded than Wilderness Lodge was, but again, seating is all separated, all spread out, so not too bad when it's all said and done. Beautiful day here. All right, and that is going to do it from our reopening days here at the Walt Disney World Resort. We started out yesterday at Wilderness Lodge. We're ending today at Disney's Polynesian Resort. Pretty fantastic stuff. The safety measures that they've implemented have all been 
pretty good. Uh, nothing too crazy, nothing that really takes away from the magic too much. Had a fantastic time. Uh, again, I'm sure that what you've seen at Wilderness Lodge and here at Polynesian are going to be the same everywhere. Um, that beach club yesterday it was all pretty similar to distancing is definitely in effect. You have to wear your mask unless you're by the pool, which is where I am right now. Um, and I'm sure that as the parks start reopening in the next couple of weeks, we're going to see the same kind of measures there as well. Uh, and we will be at the parks for sure when they reopen. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Really exciting stuff. I want to thank everybody. We hit 500 subscribers last week, which is amazing. We want to keep that number going up. Um, again, I really, truly appreciate that. And um, yeah, we got some more awesome stuff coming in the future. So hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification button, and remember, it's an expedition out there, so never land. See y'all next time. Uh, a lot of signs like this, again, reminding you to cover your nose if you're sneezing, wash your hands, things like that. But let's head into the main lobby because, again, you can kind of hear that music in the background. You walk back in here. If you've completed your online check-in, which we did, you don't